Super Super Sport wet paint. Big feet. I pull up and kill shit. Six feet. All right, six feet going deep. It's notorious with. Oh, sheesh! It's trip. <laughs> what's that trip? What, what's what's your full name? Like that's full trip. Full trip. Yeah, F U L T R I P. Why? Like, tell me about the name. Like, how'd you come about that? That's a question. No, you asked me. Um. All right. So basically, more or less, I was like, I had like a bunch of rap names. I had um, I had Fire Flame, and I had H Y F R. They were all like not not original. So I went to like some like um rap name generator or something. So I Girl. just kept punching stuff in. And like, or like I was full. So then I just kept coming up. I'm like, what goes a full? And then like, people was be like, oh, you a trip? But like, you trip? And then like, more or less something on that line. Uh-huh. So I was like, full trip. So I, and that's like my initials of my actual name reversed. Oh, so real? I was like, yeah, like, let's do it. Because I thought I had some, I had this, uh, I thought I had something to do with like psychedelics or something like you're tripping. People say, I mean, I didn't trip on acid before like one time, but. For real? Yeah, that ain't my type of thing like that. Yeah, like it. I don't care for being high that much. Like I'll do it. But, like I'll smoke a joint to get calm. But like we tripping and like all type of yeah. yeah, like that. What about like when you're in the studio? In the studio, the most I do is smoke. I smoke a little bit before I record because I notice my throat get a little raspy and shit. You feel me? Like that's mm-hmm. my vocals, so I burn like a little bit. Cause I have like a lot of energy. I be mad hype, so like I smoke to calm me down. Mm-hmm. But I need that energy for when I'm recording, cause that's how it comes out. Oh, yeah. So I like I mean when we mixing, I'll spark up. But I people you do have like a lot of energy in your songs and in your music. Like, I hear a lot of people like their energy is just like they they be on the way. It's like, Ooh. but yours yeah. is like more turn up. Cause I'm just like, I, like as a person just talking, I'll be like mad expressive and shit. Like I'm just like you know, yeah, yeah. like sheesh. Yeah, no, it definitely comes out in your music. All right. Oh, yeah, like when you told when you told me like oh you talk a lot like. Like you really like you have that personality. I, I felt like I was like I already know because like when I was hearing your songs, I was like yeah, I already know what to like. You know, oh, I already know what to expect. That's good. That's good. But no, nah, I like the energy though. Like I was watching, I was watching a bunch of your like your videos and stuff. Like I just saw the you know the Jenny one. G- <laughs> <laughs> what you think about it? It was funny. That's nice, good. That video that was that was a fun video for me. It was it was dope. Because I got to like actually like I actually like I had to meet with the actual owner of the company. It's a it's a company. You know how that like Metro Bus. Yeah. It's like they, they have like a Jitney company manager. So I got to talk to him. I had to like get permission from much people. So you feel me? So we got the um we got the bus. He okayed it and like we had people come fill the bus up. Then we had so was as Jitney driver. Mm-hmm. He like a heck of a pretty like you know popular um, Haitian comedian yeah. in that culture up in like more north from North Miami. So um he came out. It was dope. It was fun. And then it started raining. Okay. Like, it, like, like the lot we was in, like, it flooded. So, like, people were still pulling up to the gym, you know, hop on to be in the video, jumping on the puddles and shit. Yeah. Like, yeah, it was, it was lit. Shit was fun, though. Was oh, fun. oh, that was a good thing? Hell yeah. <laughs> no, nah, like, it, like it, it made it more natural. Because, like, uh, everyone was, like, we inside the buds. You feel me? Like, people, like, out of love. Like, you don't have to come to my video and show my pain. You You feel me? Like, you taking an Uber to my, like, to the bus to hop on and be in my video. Like, you fuck with me. You feel me? So, that's lit. See, I always saw those buses, and I thought they were for old people. I didn't know that like that's what that was. You always see old people on them because like that's what they have to get around. You feel me? Yeah. It's one fifty, like a dollar or like a dollar at the gym. You gotta fuck with you. You feel me? Yeah, so you only fuck with you can you charge you five. Bucks? Yeah, five bucks. Like it's never gonna be five dollars. It's always one fifty or one twenty five. <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah. What like what was your favorite part of shooting that video? The acting. Really? Yeah, because, like, I look you want to do acting, too, later on, but, like, um... I was going to ask you about that, because you act pretty good in that. Well, like, I, I feel like everyone did, like, a good job. Yeah. But, the people I had there were, like, most of them are, been, are either artists themselves, or they've been in other videos, you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Have the girls and everything, and, um... Yeah, no, acting's fun, because I have to, like, come up with, like, the, like, the whole, like, dialogue, you feel me? Mm-hmm. For the driver, you feel me? And then me, like, the people, like, I had to throw it together. So it was just, like, you know, some, on some block shit when you shoot a video with our guns at the home type shit, you feel me? What's that feeling when it's like you have your ideas, like you're you're coming up with your idea and then like you actually execute it? Like how how does that feel? I was happy as hell. When I watched the video, I was happy as shit. I was like, yes, like it happened. Cause I planned the video like in my head for like a year and some change before I even dropped the song. Mm-hmm. Cause the song wasn't even made on that beat. It was on a whole different beat. Bro. A whole different beat. And my boy came, my boy came and um and cooked the video for me in the studio. So I just laid it down on his beat again. I said, shit, all right. 
I want a video. I want to ride a jitney bus. I want to get a like a zone man to be a driver. And I want to be full. I want us to be lit, getting turned on a jitney, like jumping up and down, like all that shit that wouldn't actually happen to a jitney. Cause we did it. Yeah. You feel me? You would have smoked too, but they was tripping. But we was rolling for that shit. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't want to get choked. Yeah, yeah. It was about to happen. <laughs> How long you been rapping for? It? Like for real, for real, since I was like in high school. So maybe like just like writing composition books and stuff. Yeah, like I was writing like I would hear songs on the radio. And then write songs, you feel me? Like, I'd write my remixes to them mm-hmm. and find instrumentals. And then I branched off to, like, actually, like, finding tight beats. Yeah. And then, like, throughout high school, I just more or less, just, like, you know, just... Did you, like, record them yourself? Or, like, what was the first experience in this actual studio? Yeah, I was using the, my mom's laptop. I was to get her laptop. She wouldn't be rapping and shit. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, laptop. And she go out, go to church or some shit, you feel me? I hop on that shit, and I just, like, play the beat off, like, something else. Mm-hmm. And then, like, I'll record through the webcam. Yeah. And then put like um like a like a cover over it and just put it up on YouTube and then send it to my fucking school with like get their opinion and shit. What what did like all the kids say about the like, Man, was it I'm gonna keep it real with you. Motherfuckers was not fucking with me when I first started. Like no cap, like they was not fucking with me. Niggas was like, now people fuck with me, like whatever, but before like nah. Like niggas was shit on me when they when it came to that shit. Oh yeah, whatever. You feel me? When they seen I was like more consistent because I wasn't that good at other kids in the school rapping with me, like, but I was serious? consistent. You feel me? Like, yeah, I'm not all that good, but I'm still doing videos, sending out my shit. So at one point, they're like, oh, okay, like, oh, you should have for real. Yeah. So that was that. So it just went from there. And then the first time I went to a real studio, I was like a junior or some shit. And then um, we, like, it was expensive as shit. It was like 90 bucks an hour. Mm-hmm. So we, like, all, like, make, however we made money that week, we'd all just patch in, like, seven to eight of us. The 90 bucks to go record for like an hour or some shit. Oh, you guys would be able to record in that time? Yeah, because I was a part of the, like, like a group more or less. You feel uh, me? <clears throat> so like, what we do, there was, I was a junior, it was all seniors. So what I would do is, I would, um yeah, we'd like all go to like, we'd, we'd skip lunches and rehearse the song throughout the week. And then when it came to that Friday, we'd go record and just had that shit like down pat. Like my mm-hmm. problem, I, I was always that. We lit. We good. I noticed that you have quality in the music. Like a lot of artists there, you know, they just still like record like, like in the rooms and stuff, but yours is just like, they like actually sound professional. Yeah, my engineer went with like went to like SAE and shit, and um, I tried because I, I want I took music serious. You feel me? So I'm gonna invest and do, I'm gonna go the extra step. You feel me? Yeah. And so if you got a nice home studio, that's cool. I recorded before, but when I want to present something to the people, I want to take my shit serious. So I want it to sound professional. So you gonna take it as what it is. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You feel me? So it may cost a little more, but I rather just like spend money on some good quality shit. Just like you know, get some free shit. You know, you know I know. Oh, yeah. What about like your type beats? Like, what kind of beats do you like that you look up? Like, now have I have like a, yeah, I got a producer now. His name is Twano. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he hard as shit. He from Delaware. Then he can just be cooking shit up on the spot. Like, he lives on here, or he's, he's in he Delaware? he li- he lives in Orlando now, but he's in Delaware. But he was he's from Delaware. Mm-hmm. But he just he just send like send me packs of beats, shoot the bread, send me packs of beats like five beats at a time. Just eat them shits up. He pays you to rap on his video? No, I pay him. Oh. Yeah, how you do it? Oh, I thought you said he shoots you rap. No, I shoot him, bread, and he send me beef. Like, you know. Yeah. Saying, no, yeah. I don't like free shit. But when it comes to business, like, shit, you know, my career and my music, I don't like free shit. Invest. Invest. Yeah. Um, you feel me? Like, I'm, I'm in best. I That's believe it. You feel me? More or less. What about, like, artists that you're influenced by? Who you listen to? The, the, the reason I started rapping was Lil Wayne. Bro, who's like, your favorite? When I was like nine, I saw the behind the music documentary. Mm. And then like, they're like, oh, Wayne was nine years old when he started rapping. I was like, shit, I'm nine. Isn't that funny? Like, <laughs> they make you feel like so old. You're like, damn. Sorry, when I was like high school, like this age rap, like, it's, it's like nine years old. That's like, what I'm saying. I'm like, like fuck. It's not even like he was starting. He was like famous. So, like, you know, people are... yeah, he had a buzz, you know what I'm saying? But you know, everyone sick everyone's sick are different. But yeah. And when I seen that, I was like, yeah, I wanna like I, I like rap music, but I definitely wanna be a rapper now, like for yeah. sure. Like I was nine. So then him, and then now I like Money Man a lot. Fuck Money Man. Right, he's good. Money Man. You kind of remind me of Loki. Loki. I'm not sure that's good or bad. <laughs> Everyone said that to me. I bet you get that a lot. I don't. Like yeah. I've never heard that before in my life. For real? No, I've heard all type of shit, but not that. You fuck with like the new wave of music, or are you? Into, What's like, the new wave? Like, like stuff out now. You know. Like what? Like, like give me that. I mean, like right now, like what's hot is like the baby and like Megan and all that. Like, 
Roddy Rich, but like I met the baby, he's cool, he's cool as shit, bro. How was that? Um, you said, how, how do I like the baby? Cause yeah, cause what I was saying. Oh, he's hard. He's hard as shit, and his videos are creative as shit. Like this nigga goes out of his way to do something different, and like it's lit, like it's not corny, and like it's just dope. I fuck with this shit. Oh yeah, but. You know, a lot of artists they they like the like, '90s and stuff, like the original like rap and everything, and then they they hit on the like the new wave, you know, the new generation of music. Yeah, and I don't understand what the issue is because niggas be thinking I don't know if like they think that music will stay the same, mm. have the same kind of like um, substance to it. Like no, like music from like the beginning of hip hop has changed every year, and there's always some doing some extra shit that like starts a new trend or some shit. Hip hop's mm. about trends, you feel me? So that was the trend there, but I guess. The message was a little different in the 90s, and people more or less want more like substance to the music like then, but mm. I mean, the music we have today is more, is pretty much like what the average person of this generation's life is like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you feel like you have sus- substance in your music, or do you feel like it's just like turn up for the every song? No, I actually want to make more turn up music, because I feel the music got like, not too much, but I feel like it has a lot of substance, you feel me? Because mm-hmm. if you sit down a bit, my lyrics down, like I'm sharing I'm sharing myself with you, you feel me? Mm-hmm. I'm speaking of shit that I've seen, you feel me? Been through my ambitions, you feel me? So like, you know, sometimes you need that song to just like, just get you lit, you feel me? Oh, yeah. What do you think was like the hardest line that you wrote, or like the hardest thing you said in a song? Shit, what? Mm-hmm. So I was thinking about it too. <laughs> I was thinking about it too. Wait a I think it was, a lot of my hard verses come in features. Like my song's hard, but when I do features, I go extra hand because I feel like I need to outdo who I'm doing the song with. You like because I'm a feature. I heard like because I heard like Gunna, he like all his songs that he's like featured on, he goes hard. But like all his like regular songs, he's like. Yeah, like, regular. I don't know. Like, I feel like my music is good, but, like, yo, like, I feel like my feature song, I said, okay. You, you feel like you got to out people? Like, what were you? My hardest, I feel like I know hardest verse right now, or, like, bars, or being a feature with my boy, Free Kids. We got a song called Distance. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I'll go. I'm going to go shopping at Fendi. Water on my neck, got plenty. Pull up in the Renzi. I just got a brand new semi. Empty the clip, don't tempt me. My plug, bless me. Bees in my pocket, no Bentley. Came from the rise on the jitney. They ride with me. I pray 12, don't get me. Got a new bitch trying to sex me. These shoes cost what the rent be. That right there. I like that one. These shoes cost what the rent be. Cash. <laughs> yeah, right there. That's it. <laughs> what about that? Your show's like... What's what's your favorite song to perform? That one right there. That one. I get lit. I look at I'm, 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 mostly when I perform, I like to wear like nice shoes. So I put mm-hmm. like, like some Javinci shoes, boot shoes. You know how much the shoes go for it. Javinci shoes be like nine hundred dollars, whatever. Like come on, feel me. So that's some people's rent. So I'm like, yo, these shoes cost what the rent be, and I dust them off. Cash. Niggas should have flex on me. Niggas gonna flake. And that's it. Like, and the crowd be like going crazy. Yeah, cause the, the crowd inter- If you have a good crowd. Mm-hmm. They're gonna interact with you and feel your energy. If I'm looking at you and I'm jumping up and down. You're gonna be like, damn, this nigga hype as shit. Like, fuck, what happened? Okay. Sheesh. You feel me? Like, that's Have it. you ever had a background? What you mean, background? A background. A background? Yeah, all the time. I'm, mm-hmm. a, I'm, a, I'm an upcoming artist. You're always gonna have them shows. You have the people who just be dead. Yeah, just like staring at you. The worst club, the worst crowd would be in um in the strip club. Well, at least out here in Miami. For real? People think, like, because, you know, hip hop and strip clubs are like so. More and more, like you feel me, like together, mm-hmm. you think that it only makes sense to perform in strip clubs because it'll be lit. Mm-hmm. I hear it's different. You feel me, like you know, the people have you perform unless you're like popping, like you know someone. The most part, as an artist, they're gonna have you go up around like two, three o'clock in the morning, mm-hmm. maybe even four. You know what I'm saying? At that point, the club is dead. Cause it's usually a weekday. You feel me, like a Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday. I don't know how many people you know in the strip club at four in the morning on Tuesday night. You feel me? And everyone's in there drunk, they're high, or it's just the strippers who are tired as shit, like sipping Hennessy, like ready to go home. You feel me? I mean, it's still people. You feel me? Like they, mm, they no, you, you always want to perform like you're in front of like a stadium. Yeah. But when I say Brackard, I mean more as in they're not really paying attention to you mm. to really retain. You feel me? Like the art that you're presenting to them. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes like that energy, like they see that you have that energy, like that. You know. Even though there's like no one here, he's still like going hard. Like there is, so it's like they don't fuck with you just off of that. You feel me? So that I'm for like people like the people who take that in. I'm appreciative of that, but mm. 
Yeah, and there's some cars they just be disrespectful. They just be like assholes. That's happened to you? Not to me, but like, I've been at a show and I just watched them. Oh, yeah. Just try and shout the artist, like, fuck. Buddy. What was the part that you traveled for a show? Like, were you on tour? Atlanta. Atlanta? Yeah, Atlanta. Like a real performance? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Atlanta. Was there, was there a lot of people there? Yeah, it was a good amount. Decent amount. That's like, yeah, yeah it was a good amount. It's a, it's a very different, um, a very different atmosphere over there for the artists, you feel me? They show love. And I, everyone says that, and it sounds kind of cliche, but it's really true. Like, the mm -hmm. niggas show fucking love, you feel me? I don't know if I'm a pink. They're like, so down to come repost my shit and share my shit, spin my fucking song. They don't know if I'm a can of pink. Mm -hmm. Versus out here, you got to go through all types of ass kissing and bullshit. Shooting nigga bread, all type of shit you're not supposed to be doing. Do you feel like it's because you're a Florida artist that they do that they like that? I mean, kind of, but they generally just show love to almost everyone who they see that's actually kind of taking it serious. Because mm. even people from ATL who at the events that I was at performing, they were showing them love too, and half of them you know each other. You know what I'm saying? But just out here, like, you know, they take it like serious. So it's like the rap capital of, like, of everything. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people go, a lot of people not from there go there and they blow, you feel me? Because of the networks and the connections there. You feel me? Miami's all like, you know, more or less turning like that too, but like the locals have to like really like step up. Do you feel like, what, when you feel like the point in like the peak of Miami music like was, do you feel like it still has the buzz that it was having? Like, I feel like in Miami there is no peak. There's just like, and there's just that artist who has that like that. You feel me? That shine. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? So it could be if by peaking me like the general spotlight of like the artists in this area, mm -hmm. you get what I'm saying? It's based on the artists. Cause you can have like five artists pop out of Miami or something four at the same time. From you had Kodak and you had um Yeah, but like X Tokyo and Jets, X. And all they all had their own different lanes and they all more or less popping at the same exact time. Yeah, exactly. So it's just based on the artists. Like from Miami, like Florida just like because there hasn't been like ever since then there hasn't been like too many artists like popping from florida and like or like scene is like a little more quieter than there's before. people buzzing you feel me but like once they have that that song it's a done deal how do you know like what to do next like what do you do to like to plan out everything like do you have a plan of like how you're gonna be successful or do you just like play it by ear then like how do you like how you go about that a little bit of both i plan I set goals for myself. So I plan to achieve those. And then I just keep, okay, boom, this one, next. You get what I'm saying? There's, like, you know, like, like plan to just make shit happen. You get what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you can have like, ideas, you feel me? And execute them, but they may or may not work. You get what I'm saying? So I think it's more realistic for me to just set goals. And once I get past them, like, let's say, like, I want, like, 10K followers, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I do what I gotta do, network, you feel me? Meet people. All right, I got 10K, but so now I'm doing something else. You get what I'm saying? I'm going to feel like that. So, like, I wanted to, I wanted more visuals. I wanted to do features. You feel me? There's a lot of things I wanted to get done. You get what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. I just set things up to put myself in that position. Yeah. What do you feel like it takes to become successful as a rapper, as um, an artist? Truthfully, money. Money and connections. So, you feel like every artist that's made it so far it's because they had money money your connections definitely don't get me wrong you feel me occasionally you might have you feel me somebody who like you know gets like a viral hit like i think justin bieber was he like viral like just put a video playing guitar he just blew up i think it's something different no i'm saying in terms of like as an artist it's an upcoming See, artist he got signed like by usher after though he came into the spotlight because of i think youtube videos i'm seeing then he received whatever he got from him Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So there's some hip hop artists who just put up a video on Instagram and just blow. You feel me? But that's not like more. That's not as likely. You get what I'm saying? There's like no, not as much longevity in that one. In yeah, because half the time when it's someone like that, they, 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 it's not because they, they didn't blow because they were taking it serious or because it was intentional. Mm -hmm. It's just like, you know what? Hey, I'm a video rapping today. And they blow up and boom. Like, fuck it. So some do take it serious in one way and some just take it forward and just keep it pushing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you need money and connections. Cause if you don't have the money, then you will need the connections to get you where you gotta go. If you don't have all the connections, you need the money to fill in the blanks. You get what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. that's just what anything, you feel me? So like what stuff do you have to pay for? Like when you when you say you need money, like what do you need the money for? What I need money for? Like to like to, get to that, yeah, to like get to that next level. Okay, you got music videos, studio time. 
Um, you got dates. You know what I'm saying? Your appearance. You know what I'm saying? You, you got to present yourself how you want to be treated. I want to take it serious. I'm not going to take a bum. I'm going to be clean and fresh and smell good, look good, all that shit. You feel me? Mm. It's important. You get what I'm saying? So that's one thing. So you got clothes. Well, who knows how much that could afford? You feel me? Um, you make your own clothes, right? Because she's just yeah, the, your brand. Um, the shirt. Yeah, this is my brand. She is my brand. Mm. But like everything else, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it, you know, it costs. I feel like it's good because you don't have to walk around wearing designer all the time. You just wear your Switch stuff. it up, you know? Because then you're making money and you don't have to spend money on like expensive shit because you're just like promoting your brand. Yeah. You feel me? That's another thing, too. Like, you know, and, I want, I want, I want to invest in myself to keep, like, you know, to more or less set up, like, a, a way for me to generate funds off the music. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Because I can't expect to have a number one single at all times. But I'm going to do be broke for yeah. the whole time. Like, no. You feel me? I'm going to have that, and I'm going to have other sources of income. That's where the clothing comes in, you feel me? Because, mm-hmm. yeah, right now it's clothing, but I also have, like, other, like, you know, other, like, items, you feel me? Or other things just to, just to complete the brand as a whole. Mm-hmm. So it's more than just clothes, you feel me? No, yeah. How did you come up with the name Sheesh? Like, Sheesh. How many times did it take you to to come up with that? So I kept saying all my songs. So right. my, like my, 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 my phrase, like, Sheesh! You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, that's my thing. My introductory phrase, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what is the friend trying to do? Uh, huh? Even <laughs> yeah. That's like my shit, you feel me? So, when it comes to clothing, like, how is it, like, how do you move different with the clothing than you do with the rapping? What do you mean? Like, do you do, like, for the moves? Do you make the same moves that you make, like, when it comes to, like, um, getting your music out there that you do to get your clothing out there? Or you, is it just, like, simultaneous that like, you just, like, do everything? Like, I kind of actually, like, this, I want to, because it's my brand, I want to have my brand eat off my artistry as well. Mm-hmm. So, like, the better I do with my music, the more I can you know, transfer that semantic to my clothing and vice versa, you feel me? Yeah. So I try to keep it together. It's like, like when I go to my performances, I wear my clothes. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Um, I'm an entrepreneur, so I don't know. I just take things. I, I run my, I run my clear yeah, pretty much the same way. In the same sense, I take it just as serious. I have like an LLC, all that shit, you know, like, mm. you feel me? I invest in it, you feel me? You know, I meet the connection. I don't like middleman shit, so I go to like, the distributors of the actual garments, you feel me? And like the um, people who like print clothes and stuff, like mm. I'm hands on with everything. You feel me? Oh, yeah. What's what's like some little stuff about you that you like put into your music that you're like, oh, you know, I want like someone like to relate to this, like like stuff that you like, or, like you grew up on? Shit that or, I put like, my music on people to relate to? Just like little stuff about you that you're just like, oh, I hope someone is like, I mean, <clears throat> like I'm a hustler, you feel me? So I wanna, uh, I want if yeah, that's my thing. So my thing is me. I have like this, just this spirit about me. You feel me? Like I'm a hustler. I'm an entrepreneur. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I'm always trying to make a dollar out of something. You get what I'm saying? So that being the case, I think it makes no sense that if we have all our, you know, eyes, hands, ears, nose, and legs and shit, you should be sitting here not making bread or doing something. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like there's no reason why you shouldn't be doing that. So like you feel me? Sometimes you need some motivation. Everybody needs motivation, you feel me? I have my time going down, you feel me? Or I might just hear an idea from somebody that might inspire me to, like, go do something else, you feel me? Mm-hmm. So I want people to hear my shit. You know, you don't got to get it, I get it, do what I do. But, you feel me, be motivated to go do something, you feel me? Do something extra, you know, like hustle, yeah. you feel me? Hustle could be a job, hustle could be, you know, doing whatever. It's just you're making a move, you feel me? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So if someone was going to listen to your music for the first time, what three songs should they listen to to become my Jitney, one of them Jitney. uh <laughs> Jitney. oh oh shit what's it i don't know i don't know because a lot of the songs i would say i ain't even dropping yet i have a lot of music i'm gonna come out with and shit um you have like a schedule when you're gonna drop everything you just not at all the music is really just drops when it drops <laughs> yeah that's something i should probably do i don't have a schedule just drop it um Go on smoke, that's a good one. Cause um they got like a whole different vibe to it. It's not it doesn't sound like a rap song. Mm. You get what I'm saying? And um couple hours. Yeah, Jitney, couple hours and who on smoke. Do you have like were those the most fun that you had making songs or like what was the most fun song you had? The most fun song that I made was It Is What It Is and Jitney, 
because I knew what I was doing when I made the song. Like, I'm like, yo, I'm really making a song about a fucking dollar bus. Like, you just had that, you just had that vision from the jump. But yeah, um, it is what it is. It was fun because I made that song. You know, you know what the Chobi is? Oh, the Chobi? Oh, yeah. All right, well, so like. You explain. Uh, all right, it's like one. All right, so like more or less like down like by the old control area, by the area, mm-hmm. by the airport. It's a bunch of like hotels like where like you like take a shorty, you feel me? You know, mm-hmm. it's made just for that. Uh-huh. You go by the hours some shit, so they got some like okay, they I got like, sitting mirror on the set and this shit. You know, they got so they, the room I was in, when my homeboy was in there, and he's like, "Yo, come to the studio." You find like, he has his own equipment. He's like, "Yo, I'm gonna um come to the studio." And um, like I'm a cook up, we gonna go work. I'm like, all right, bet. So I, I called the Uber to him, and I just sent him like money, man. So I was bumping. I said, bro, give me some shit like this. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So then um, I pulled up to um to the trophy. I went inside. Two of my homeboys in the bed, knocked out with shorties, and then he's like in like the, the back of the room, over like some like little there's like a, there was like a pond inside the room with a bridge crossing the pond. And like he had like the microphone and shit set up. So I walked over the little pond shit. He's like, here, bro, listen to this beat. So I heard the beat. She was tight. So I, I just started rapping because I was irritated because I can't talk about that. <laughs> but yeah, the song was inspired by my ex, Loki. Because I would tell her it is what it is and she'd be pissed. Like whenever she got mad, like, it is what it is. And she'd be mad as shit. And then like, niggas, you know, niggas complain about shit a lot. Niggas can love complaining about weed. Like, oh, bro, my bag is skimp. Like, my bag is skimp. What the fuck? Like, niggas, the same shit every fucking time. What are you telling me? You feel me? But niggas be bugging. So I said, Shorty, she told me she mad. It is what it is. That nigga told me it's skimp. It is what it is. And then I said, I might put a drum on the K. It is what it is. And that's for that. So I just built off that and just took it the whole way through. Mm-hmm. And I freestyled the whole song pretty much. You're just like thinking about that like the whole time? Yeah. <laughs> Man, people, I don't know. I'm a pretty cool, calm person, but I get irritated. People are annoying. I'm simple. What do you like? Hope to gain as a rapper? Like, let's say you do get to that point, but do you feel like it's gonna be worth it? And like, why are you like, why are you trying to reach that point? Like, why are you trying to do it? When I do, yeah, definitely, because I put in work for it. I sacrifice a lot for this shit. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Lord knows how much money I put into this shit. The risk I'm taking, you feel me? You know, and I'm young. You know what I'm saying? So like, I've already put myself in a in a position where like. This is just it, you feel me? Like, mm. I'm not saying I fucked myself over in life, but like, I've dedicated my time, I've educated myself, you feel me? And like, also, like, just spent a lot, you feel me, financially on this, you know what I'm saying? The mm. passion, you feel me? Like, I don't like doing things, I don't like to half step and shit, you feel me? So I'm not gonna half step my music. I'm like committed to it 100%. So, like, anything that you truly love, you feel me, is gonna be worth it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? People do all type of crazy shit which they love. For us, it might not be worth it for them, but. You know what I'm saying? For someone who actually came with the doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. It's like somebody like I don't know, like people like car a car enthusiasts would like spend mad time and bed into a fucking car, but like what the fuck like, bro, it's a fucking two thousand car. Yeah, to him, it's like, you know, this is like that's my life. And when it's done, like he's ha- he's the happiest person you can't tell him shit. Yeah. You feel me? Like all the money he spent on them expensive ass old parts, like he's happy as shit because he's completed his project. Mm. So that's the same kind of, you know, joy that I have for my for my craft. What do you think, what do you feel like you want people to know about you that like a lot of people don't know? I don't know, I think I put on music, I don't know. You put everything in music? More or less, like, yeah, like, I mean, things that I don't want no one to know. That, that you know, people don't really know about you. I'm nice? <laughs> I think I'm a dickhead, I don't know. I don't know, people be on me, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What about like in the future? Like, you have anything come like coming up? Like any shows? Like any jobs? Yeah. Um, what do you have? I got a photo shoot for my brand coming up in the next two weeks. I got um, I'm dropping a video next week, and I'm shooting a video next week, and I have a performance in January. I'm not sure the date I'm going to post on my page. Mm-hmm. That's what I get a confirmation for the flyer. Where's it at? It's probably going to be in Miami. Oh, no, 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 no. I got one in January, in like the first week, and I have one in Atlanta towards like that beginning of February. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You excited for that? I'll look before me. It's lit. Yeah, for 
for sure. Uh, what about like some advice that you want to get to the end when starting out right now, like making music? Practice. You gotta practice. Be nice to people because you never know who you're sitting next to or looking at. You want to be talking to someone who changed your life or change your family, so you gotta be on point for that. You like this happened to you? Um, not like I fucked it up, but like in terms of like you know, um, yeah, like I mean, I'm generally nice to people. Like I'm just a respectful person. I'm not, I'm not just trying nobody for nothing. But mm. it's been times you feel me that I could have capitalized just off me knowing who I was sitting next to or talking to, but I didn't. Doesn't mean that like you know they would have did something for me, but you know like just you never know. The closed mouths don't get fed. You feel me? So yeah, you got it. You know, you feel me? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. you have anyone you want to shout out? I got shout out Danny Mula. You feel me? You know <laughs> Um, all my producers, um, Michael, Tuano, Engineer Mac, my dog Vante, my boy Brad. How about the fam last year? We lit. Um. Yeah, I don't got a lot of friends. <laughs> it's better that way. <laughs> no, you don't want to like, leave out anyone. Yeah, I'm saying no. Everybody who knew I fought with them, like, you know, man, I fought with them. You cool. <laughs> and where can they find you at? On um, my Instagram, full trip dbg. That's f u l l t r i p d b g. Twitter, full underscore underscore trip. Apple Music, full trip title, Spotify. Amazon, I don't know, Pandora, I think too. I don't know. YouTube. Is that, is that where it is? Yeah, they look me up. Look up full trip. Sheesh. For sure. So it's been six feet, full trip. Sheesh. <laughs>